Hi, once again, we are live this morning here at the Bristol Sportsplex where you can see everybody's having a good time. They're already out. They're playing pickleball. They're getting warmed up this morning. What a great way to kick off a week, right? We are here now with the Pickleball Pro, the director of the Pickleball Program here at the Bristol Sportsplex. We have Rob Nunnerly joining us. And Rob, thanks for meeting us out here today. Thanks for coming out. This is, uh, this is a blast to be here and yeah. Always fun to play pickleball and we just caught up with you in time you said you fly out tomorrow for San Francisco already doing more pickleball tournaments yes yeah, so I, I play full-time on the tour and when I'm not playing I'm here teaching instructing and yeah San Francisco tomorrow and then I go to Cincinnati this weekend so wow it's busy yeah you are busy yeah. but loving every minute of yep. it tell me a little bit about your passion for pickleball oh I fell in love with it right away it's I, I played college tennis come from a tennis background okay but first time I came out, I played with a, I'm not kidding, a couple 70 year olds and being like younger and athletic, losing to them uh -huh. was very, very humbling. humbling. And I was like, what is this sport where <laughs> these people that aren't athletic can beat me? It blew my I mind. I've got to know. Yes. I've got to know. So that got me hooked because I was like, wow, this is, a, this is well, one, an interesting sport where you can have a 70 year old playing with the younger people. It's, it, you know, it's kind of ageless, genderless, like you can, it's a unique sport where you can be 10 and play with your grandparents and have a great time and be competitive. And be competitive. And that's what we're seeing this morning already, some competition going on right there. <laughs> They've been playing for a while. They were yeah. telling me they have a lot of fun. Explain to me, we're watching them play. You've got mm -hmm. the paddles and then they're like, they're like wiffle balls, right? Yeah, so it's a pickle. It's, it's called a pickleball, but it's, uh, it is essentially a wiffle ball. And this orange area here is called the kitchen. Okay. And you're not allowed to stand in there as you volley, so you have to stay behind it. You have to stay out of the kitchen. Stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> That's what my husband says all the time. Stay out of the kitchen. Just don't try it. Okay, and we see too, like you said, a lot of kids playing, a yes. lot of kids playing with their grandparents. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of that timeless sport. It is, it is. and it's, um, what, and that's what I always think about is what other sport can you be eight, nine, 10, and actually have truly a competitive game with, a, with your grandparents. and. I, I literally don't know of any other game you can do that where it's actually physical and you're out in the court. So. Are you shocked at how how popular pickleball is? I mean, I think we all knew yeah. it was going to be big, but it is huge. I'm shocked, but I'm not shocked at how big it is. I'm shocked at how fast it got there. Yeah. Um, the I know a couple years ago there's like five million players, and there's a study done last year where 50 million Americans have played at least once. Which wow. is an insane number, but the it sense it's just because it's you come out the first time and you can have fun because like I compare it to tennis. Tennis, if you're two beginners, you're just gonna be running down balls the whole time and you're not actually gonna be hitting a lot. This you can come out first time and have fun, keep a rally going, which is which is the unique aspect of it. All right, you ready to keep a rally Let's going? Do it. All right, we're gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna go over here. Here, I'm gonna give you the ball. Yes. Because I I'm not um not sure I can do a whole lot of serving. So. Oh, you're ready for this. Oh, I'm I'm sure. All yeah. right, so Are we gonna out like of the, out warm of the kitchen. Up? Yeah, get out that stretch in. Out of the kitchen? Yep. You want me right here? Right there, perfect. Okay. So all you're trying to do is just hit it in front of me. So I'm just gonna hit it. We're gonna do nice it. volley. Yes, nice. Look at natural right away. Perfect. Okay, I'm trying to stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> you're doing great. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Well, not oh, no. That was a good shot. That was not bad? That was not bad. So I, I mean, can see why cut, like teams would be better. So you want to do doubles, doubles. Like we're seeing over here. Doubles is just so much fun. And it's a smaller court. So it's, you know, you can talk back and forth. It's very social. Okay. And Look, yeah. here comes a ball magically rolling in. Mm. All right, let's try it one, one more time. More. Okay. So how am I doing? Any tips? So ideally you want to stay as close to the kitchen line as you can. Okay. And if the ball comes in the air to you, try to volley it back versus letting it bounce. Okay. Oh, so you don't want to let it bounce. You, uh, not if, yeah, you want to stay here because the idea okay. is if the ball's high, you can hit it hard and hit down on it. Okay. If it's low, you want to just hit it soft back. All right. So let's nice, just, nice and soft, Rob. Nice and nice soft. Nice let's and see. soft. Oh, now I didn't even get it over the that net. That was nice and soft, though. Was that too soft? A little soft. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nice. So out of the air now. All right, now try not to let it bounce. Don't let it bounce. There you go. It's like volleyball now. Yep, but 
when you hit it out of the air like that, the yeah. only issue is you just, yeah, you just can't step in here. You know, part of me just wants to like, you know, like the old swing. If you're here, you can do that. <laughs> That's fun. Well, you're a lot of fun, Rob, and we thank you so much for taking some time with us this Absolutely. morning. Thanks for having me. It is a Monday, and you can make your reservation and play pickleball right here at the Bristol Sportsplex. You can do it all online. They've got a great website that you can go to for more information. And coming up, we're going to tell you about a special tournament where you can help kids in our area. It is a pickleball tournament for Casa for Kids. That's coming up a little later with Daytime Tri-Cities. We're going to continue to play some pickleball, though. Stay with us.